Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Group Chat. We have another very, very, very exciting week. Uh, Justin Bieber is unfortunately off the market. Damn it. Hate to break it to you. Yeah. Uh, live update of the Thai soccer team uh, stuck in the cave. And also, it looks like Sasha Baron Cohen might be getting deported soon. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Group Chat. I am your co-host, Christopher Drama Path. I am the co-founder and CEO of Young and Reckless Clothing, and also the host of the Short Story Long Podcast, Everywhere Where Podcasts Exist. My name is Dee Murthy. I'm the co-founder of the Menlo Club and uh, co-host of Group Chat. Yeah, and also social media star, social health. Health uh, and wellness guru. Health and wellness guru. Yeah. Uh, that's my real name, so might as well be a guru. That's very true. Uh, yeah, you're doing a great job. I got to say, over the weekend, I joined in on your run club. I know. When I saw that, when I was with Luke, I was like, Luke's going to cry. Yeah. He, Chris ran. He's like, Chris ran. Yeah. That's why it's funny because I texted you first yeah. and I said, look, I'm running. And then I decided, no, I should tie Luke in on this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was in Ohio uh, visiting my parents and I just was so stir crazy and I've been yeah. doing a little bit of like working out, but mainly weightlifting and stuff yeah. like that. Right. And, um, I've actually not been doing cardio cause I'm trying to put on any amount of pounds that I can, <laughs> but I was so stir crazy. I was like, man, I have to do something. That's amazing. So a nice run. I mean, there's no one on the streets, That's a lot so of green. Nice. Uh, it was great. So I was happy to be in the remote grand AC run club. How was it hot? It was hot, but actually when I was there, I heard it was like 100 before I got there. Uh -huh. And the problem there is it's really humid like New York. But when I got there, it was like low 70s. Yeah, it was brutal hot this weekend. It's like 105 weekend. or something. Yeah. I mean, even even in West Hollywood, it was over 100. We went to the beach in Huntington. It was like 96, yeah. 95, I think, on Saturday. It was really hot. So how was the Heartland? Heartland was good. Um, this is the only problem. I don't have much to report back because... I saw the LeBron house video. I did a drive-by of LeBron's house. Okay. Just wanted to say bye. Yeah. Pay my respects. Was anyone there? Uh, it didn't look like it <laughs> at all. I believe they're like <laughs> vacationing with Jimmy Iovine in like Italy and they or something. they all left. Yeah, they don't. They'll never be back at that house again. <laughs> uh, no, it was super quiet. No one looked like at the house. No one anywhere to be seen. But... Uh, I don't know. I wonder if he'll keep that house, or I want to at least give it a drive-by before. Maybe I mean, it's he's gone. He's going to keep it. I just that's he grew up not far from there, correct? Yeah, very I close. think it's just more of like a symbolic gesture. Yeah, and it's funny because right by my parents' house, you can actually drive by. Uh, his mom has like a seven hundred and fifty thousand, which is hard to spend there. Dollar house on the lake. That's like this grand, yeah. huge house, and you can drive by and see it. Were you posting videos on a lake? Okay. Yeah. So the whole, where I'm from is a place called Portage Lakes, okay. which is outside of Akron. And it's these little neighborhoods that surround this group of lakes. Yeah. And so everyone like what you do, if you're really killing it, you have a house on the water and you have a boat and you go out on your like pontoon Got boat it. and get wasted with your friends. Cause my uh, in-laws were like, Wow, Java's parents' house on the lake looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, we didn't, that was, we, <laughs> we went to our friend's house <laughs> okay. who had a house on the lake, right? okay. We didn't have the lake And I was front. like, I didn't know they lived on a lake. No, <laughs> no, we didn't. That was a lie. Okay. But it looked great on the drone shot. Yeah, it did. But yeah, it was fun. I didn't get, like, I didn't go to the mall or anything like that, so I didn't see, I really wanted to do a MAGA test. Yeah. You know, see how many red hats, and yeah. like, but I didn't, uh, I wasn't really out. I was only there for two days. Yeah. So. And then, um, and what's the LeBron mood? Everyone. You know, I'm going to be honest. It seems like the LeBron mood is like, we don't blame him. Okay. Like, we'd so go to LA angry. too if we could. So everyone's happy. I didn't that. feel any anger. Okay. It was a bummer. Yeah. But, but this it wasn't might like sound, that first time around. This might sound messed up, but almost the attitude is like, eh, he gave it his best shot. We know it sucks here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, we don't blame you. The last time it was like, you're leaving where you grew up just to go get money and rings. Yeah. And that sucks. Yeah. But it's like, he came back. He won a championship. Um, I Now it just feels like they're like, yeah, we get it. That's it amazing. Um, would uh, Well, that's great. Are you going to go back to Ohio soon again? Hopefully. Okay. I'm really trying to go more when it's warm. I only go during Christmas. Yeah. And it's a pretty miserable experience. At least it's on a lake. Yeah. And so, like, my rat. impression of Ohio has gotten much worse over the years because I've only went when it's 20 degrees. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was nice. 
I'm trying to make it a point to do it. Okay. Yep. Great. Um, other big news. Yes. We are deciding officially this week to do three episodes of group chat. Yes. Huge. Huge. So we've noticed that we started posting on Friday exclusively on podcast form. Yeah. And the listens went way up and yeah. stayed up and everything. It was just great. I love looking at our chart of downloads. It's been six months of increase. Skyrocketing. Yeah. Not much looks like We're that. We're like uh, Bitcoin 2017. Yeah. Bit, yeah. Yeah. We're like bird scooters. We're, we're, we're everywhere. We're Jewel. <laughs> we're Jewel. Um, we're the Jewel of podcasts. Yeah. So we're addicting. We're very addicting. <laughs> so we, um, so yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do, th- we're going to try three this week. There's never a shortage of news. Mm-hmm. I'm just curious if that's an overload or not. We'll find we'll out. If I the think, downloads go down, then we know. Yeah, I think group chat podcast could be every weekday. Yeah. Monday through Friday. Here's what happened today. Here's what we think about it. That'd be amazing. So we'll push till the till you guys get sick of us. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, okay, first bit of news. I know this is devastating for you, and I want you to prepare yourself. <laughs> but Justin Bieber got engaged. It's big. How do you feel about it? I So just me being an asshole. Yeah. What I was thinking was, I think it's good. Someone like Justin Bieber and his personality and his like rock star. I don't want to put this out in the world, but he's probably going to get married several times. Oh, yeah. I don't even think that's okay. surprising. Okay. So let's say, assuming he gets married five times. Yeah. Okay. Let's knock the first one out while you're young. Yeah. Why get started when you're 35? Because he's not going to be like... Um, but why he, even get married? I'll tell you the difference is when you look at like guys like George Clooney and Leonardo DiCaprio, like they were playboys for like... Well, Leo still is. But George yeah. Clooney waited till whatever. He was like 50 yeah. and said, you know what? I'm tired. He did it perfectly. Yeah. And now he's up. He got his twins. He's good. He's kids. And he's going to live to 140 yeah. drinking his Casamigos yeah, in Lake Como. Yeah. So for it, from a rock star celebrity perspective yeah he probably played it right because i don't i don't see george clooney getting divorced now yeah yeah and he has a great girl now yeah like saving the world and lawyer or whatever she yeah, is and they're like smart and this stuff justin bieber is reckless yeah right and yeah. so he he's you know obviously falls in love with these girls and Haley baldwin obviously she's hot she's great blah 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 but we all know that i think they're a knockout a kid though really yeah but why? Okay, here's my only because it's just cool right now to just have kids. No, no, yeah. It's, well, yeah, I think you might be wishing that on the. And world. no, but like Kylie's <laughs> not gonna have kids. Chloe, yeah. I mean, like all the cool girls are knocking out kids. Well, the Kardashians. Well, they're the cool girls. True. Okay, let me just say this. My only thing is, I get it. You're a little psycho. You're a little rock star. Great, proud of you. Knock out a kid, whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, why, why get married? Like, why not go the Clooney route? Why not? Why do you feel this pressure to be normal? That's what I think. I think it's either a press, like oh this is so great, we're making out in the streets, we're crazy, we're too young, crazy people. I don't even think he. I mean, he's just on a. But I just. Think would that, you argue Justin Bieber is the most famous person in the world? Yeah. Right. Donald There's Trump. Most beloved famous yeah. person on earth. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't literally. I think like. Those kids in Thailand stuck in the caves know who Justin Bieber is. Yeah. I don't think they know who Donald Trump is. They do. They just hate him. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, this is the point. Yes, you're right. My only thing is I kind of think, and maybe this is wrong on me, that people like them are so addicted to news and to being relevant and to shock value and yeah. to, you know what I mean? That it's like, why don't we just get married? Yeah. Babe, I got an idea. Yeah. Who cares if this has been one great week? Let's get married. <laughs> Selena Gomez dodged a bullet because that could have been her. I think she's pretty crazy too, though. She'd be down with I the think marriage. She's a psycho. Yeah. That, I think that's going to be his second or third marriage. Yeah. 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 Squeeze her in third. Bail out. Yeah. And then find a lawyer on six. I don't think he's going to get to lawyer stage because he's not there mentally like George Clooney. George Clooney was like, "I'm not getting married. I'm." A- but you, I'm I mean, the sexiest you either, man you either, for you either, you either have like a, you're either like a heroin addict or you get to George Clooney land. You don't see many, how old is George Clooney? 50? He's probably older now. Okay. You don't see many 54 year old psychos. You either check out, go to jail or mellow out. I would say like Jack Nicholson feels like a 
But doesn't he? Does Justin, he have a lawyer at home somewhere? I What's, mean, he's. Ha- I'm sure he's been married a lot. Like, I don't know. I just feel like Jack Nicholson is like a Jack young, seems old so cool Justin to me. Bieber. Yeah, I get it. I just think that uh, I. My bet is um, they don't actually. There's no wedding. You don't think so, huh? No, I don't. I don't think there's a wedding. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's shock value. I think these two little young lovers are just having a great couple weeks. Okay, no marriage. I'm predicting they have a kid. I'm fine with that. Yeah, that'd be great. Just one kid? Yeah. They both love Jesus. Yeah, they sure do. Have a little Jesus baby. Yeah. Yeah. And Name then, him Jesus. And you go to Hillsong or whatever yeah. and do like a thing, dance around <laughs> with your baby, put the baby in the cult. Yeah. yeah. It's great. I that's like gonna, it. That's going to be a hot kid. What about, okay, let me ask you this. You have to bet all the money in the world, all the money you have. Mm-hmm. Do you bet on... Uh, Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson getting married, actually getting married, or Justin Bieber, Haley Baldwin? I'm going Justin Bieber, Haley Baldwin. Wow. Yeah. And then kid. Same? I'm going Justin Bieber, Haley Baldwin, wow. married with a kid. Pete Davidson, Ariana Grande, 100% broken up, do not get married. Interesting. Interesting. Yep. I have no faith. Okay. I think two weeks is over. For both. Yeah. <laughs> well... Yeah, two weeks is over. <laughs> I think two more weeks, somebody liked somebody's Instagram pic that they didn't like. <laughs> and it's like, you know what, babe? I think we need some space. <laughs> Let's postpone this wedding. And then he's a poppy. Haley Butler's probably pregnant already. True. But he would just impregnate her and then keep it moving. <laughs> yeah. Go on a world tour. <laughs> yeah. Okay, moving on. Um, into a way more serious topic. Okay. Uh, the Thai soccer team yeah. stuck in a cave. Eight of them are currently out. Yep. I'm guessing the other four are yeah. I making think, the journey you, no so did you read like the whole story of how it happened well i just heard that they went on a hike which makes no sense they went into a cave as a team to like uh they wanted to like put their like uh what, etch their names in somewhere but two and a half miles no, through 15 inch they started raining I know, but didn't they hike yeah, well, for they, two and a half miles? I don't know if they actually hiked the full two and a half or they started hiking and then the water level started rising. Oh, and rising. they ran from it. And then to, to get away from the water level, oh, that they makes got sense. stuck deep. That makes sense. And now these divers are trying to get them out. And I was reading this article and it's a four hour journey each way. Yeah. I heard longer. Yeah. I so mean, they said no, depending I heard on, it was like five and six. And that the, there's divers along the way. There's 80 divers there along the way. And it's like divers from America and England. Like it's like a global effort to get these kids out. So they're 11 to 16 years old. Their idiot coach is 25 years old. I mean, that kid needs a public beating. <laughs> I mean, you know I was like, if I was him, I'd be just let, let, just, I wish he would come out and Nipsey Hustle would give him the <laughs> Nipsey Hustle smack. Like, I mean, what are you doing? Yes. I mean, it's just like, I was just thinking now that I have a kid, like, now I'm just if he goes and joins a basketball team and the idiot coach was like, let's go for a hike in like yeah. Yosemite. Next thing you know that they're stuck on top of the yeah. mountain yeah. because yeah. some dumb idiot yeah. made this bad decision. Stupid and, idiot. And they like, should, he should stay behind. Just watching the, the narrowness of the kind of journey back and forward is insane. It's, There's a part where the scuba divers have to take off their tanks because yeah. they can't fit, fit. through. And the water is so dirty, you can't see anything. Yeah, and, and they were saying that if they don't extract them this way and the rains continue, they'd have to wait till the water subsides, which is October. <laughs> no chance. You yeah. got to just go for it. Yeah, so so now there's only four left or four to six. I thought it was 14. Maybe it was only 12. So are the rest on the way right now? No, so they've stopped at the moment okay. because um, I think it started raining again. And I get, I think, so by the time this podcast gets released, it'll be the morning time in Thailand. Yeah. I think the, assuming it stays dry, yeah. they said they want to go back in and trying to pull the rest yeah. out. They have apparently enough food and stuff, but like, dude, you must think about, you went stir crazy in Ohio. I would lose my mind. <laughs> in a cave. That's what I was just going to say. It's my worst nightmare. So I was reading like. One, so many of the challenges are like those guys have been there since June 23rd so they can't if they see light it could put them in shock they said so they're coming they're trying to get them out in dark or put goggles and like they're gonna I mean what are the post you know what PTSD type symptoms are they gonna have because of like this is the most traumatic thing for like a child to go through yeah. and survive and so have you ever been scuba diving 
No, I don't do anything risky. It's a very like claustrophobic. Yeah. When you first go, like it's not. I it's mean, kind Phil, of scary. Phil Knight's kid died scuba, scuba diving. diving. A Navy SEAL died. died. Yeah. Coming back. I'm not down with anything. A Navy SEAL. Anything yeah. a Navy SEAL can die on, I will never even consider. You know when they have those signs when you go to like natural places? They say, do not cross this line. Yeah, fine. I'm three feet behind that line. Won't cross it. Yeah. Would never consider Like it. Niagara Falls, people are like jumping around and take pictures. And side note, three YouTubers died. I saw that. Ugh. That was a waterfall too, right? Yeah, in, in, in Canada. A girl Vancouver. fell in. This is so sad. The girl fell in and then her boyfriend and friend jumped in to try to save her. They all three died. Stay behind the line. You can't like, I, I don't know. I'm just not that type of, I am fine with risk and like skydiving and scuba diving. It's great. But when it's this like unknown nature, like stay behind the line. Yeah. I'm behind the line. If you Way tell me it's line. safe relatively for me to jump out of a plane and you guys got this all figured out. Great into it i mean i remember just being in tall buildings as a kid and my knees would shake yeah i'd be so scared yeah when i was young i went to the world trade center i remember going to world trade i didn't want to say that but that's where my i remember looking down and i was just like terrified yeah. i was like please let's go down yeah well here's the thing hopefully uh by the time this podcast comes out maybe the rest of the kids are out yeah um it's, i can't think of anything worse anything more scary anything worse for the parents yeah um and man that coach i i really hope that he makes it out safely and soundly i wonder if, if he would he go does, to jail because is this like negligence he needs to at least for a little like just a couple days <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> like let him get some fresh air first and then like you got to be punished man yeah. you can't you can't do that yeah you're in charge of minors yeah so anyway let's hope that that goes well uh hopefully by the time this is out all the kids are I'm, out yeah i'm dying to hear the story from the scuba divers yeah just like explaining the process yeah it's, it's gonna be nuts yeah let's hope for the best yeah. um let's talk about the king of la yeah um uh, who's who do you think was the king who would you dub the king of la before last week magic well, johnson yeah i would really say i mean because he kind of touches not only sports because lakers and dodgers he's kind of like cultural icon He's done so much for the community. Yeah. But like, he's been the king of LA, yeah. kind of, yeah. but like, not like blockbuster, like how Kobe was recently. Yeah. Um, but he's kind of been, to me, the most impactful yep. Angelino. So a new one's in town. Yeah. And we're already celebrating him. Yeah. With a beautiful, beautiful mural. Beautiful mural. And it got vandalized over I the weekend. I saw that. It's just, I hate fans. I hate sports fans. It's kind of a people thing. Do I hate people? It's kind of a hate people thing. Yeah. It's not a sports fan thing. No, because like, I think... Something's s- cool. Let's wreck it. That's people. Is it? Yeah. That's not sports. It happens more in sports. Sports people seem like the worst people. And I'm a big sports guy, and I used to be like that. Yeah. And then I realized, this is just entertainment. Why am I taking it so personal? Yeah. People take it personal. I agree, man. But I think people in general have a have an, a, a nature in them to just want to be. You want to be the star. It's the same thing. Maybe a dramatic comparison. It's the same thing as the people that are constantly saying the most ruthless things in people's Instagram comments. Like another side note, Kourtney Kardashian roasted some lady who said her baby wasn't cute and just roasted her. You yeah. know, but. Um, but my point Courtney is... Courtney roasted her or some other person roasted her? Or Chloe, Chloe. Okay. So Chloe said... Somebody posted, oh, is it just me or is Chloe Kardashian's baby not cute? Yeah. And she just wrote like, what type of person are you? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But it just kind of went viral because yeah. she roasted her. Yeah. Anyway, the point is the same thing that just makes people want to just ruin. Yeah. Like you just want to like, look at me. Put negative energy out of I spray painted on your thing. Yeah. So here's my thing. Is the LeBron mural ruined or were they able to fix it? So I think they cleaned it up yesterday okay. from what I heard. Um, but they put like three and six and get stupid. out of here. Like just stupid. Yeah. Like people are stupid. Well, I'm going to head down there this week and get yeah. some fire IG pics. Yeah. I need to get a fire IG. I need to That's go like my the day pink before wall. you do. You know, like Mel yeah. Rose, Paul Smith. The girls have that. Yeah. Actually, guys have to take it too, but I don't have a wall that I want to take a, a picture in front of. Yeah, you're of. right. You need that because I think for you, that's a real moment. Like yeah. you could have that framed in I, your house forever. I mean, I have the Cleveland one. 
with me going oh, you the do. full Is that framed in your house? No, but I should frame that. You should. You should put Cleveland LeBron yeah. and LA LeBron. Yeah. Yeah, well, either way, it's cool. I'm glad that minus the stupid, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, it's a cool thing. And what I will say is I'm about the least amount of sports fan. Um but the energy that he brings, I've yeah. seen him bring it to Akron for yeah. obvious reasons, but the energy he even brought to LA over the last week of people knowing he's coming and being excited. Yeah. And like, I've only, obviously you've heard like Laker fans hating on LeBron fans now being Laker fans, yeah. right? Cause there's that stupid beef. Yeah. But I've heard a lot of Laker fans be like, ah, yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah. You like know? You're, he's blockbuster. Yeah. He's, a, he's the biggest as you get. And like, he's not even in town yet. Wait till he comes in town yeah. and you see him around, you see him at events and restaurants and movie premieres yeah it's people are gonna be like losing it yeah he's the king good for him i'm yeah. excited uh, okay next up jaden smith is ahead of the times as always man he's he's, he's literally kid. from the future he is from the future i think yeah i think that jaden uh or um uh, will and jada's i just think when you take such like kind of crazy out there high achieving people and mix them into this little human this is what you get like yeah. you get an alien from the future yeah you know um because he's already he's just always been on some like futuristic vibe yeah. and now it's all kind of happening yeah and everyone, so what everyone used to think of him as kind of an oddball weirdo yeah and i was always a huge fan because i was like this kid is different yeah he's just on some other shit yep and then he releases his album on only igtv you it's, can't get it anywhere yet, else yet. Still. St I mean, as of this morning, maybe that'll change by tonight. So is every song a video or how did he do no, it? No, it's like a, it's not a video. It's actually just the song. And what's, what's the, what's showing? What's the picture? Just that image he has for Got his it. album. Okay. Here's my question. Do you think that Jaden, I already know your answer. Do you think that Jaden came up with that on his own or do you think that IG came to Jaden I think IG is a bunch of idiots. So there's no way yeah. they did that. Yeah. I, I just don't think they're on the Jaden Smith level. Yeah. Did you listen creativity. to the album? I mean, go, have you heard that song Ghost? No. It is fire. It's the new one. Yes. No. Fire. It came out last week, like in, in a video form, but it's so fire. Actually, this might be all videos. Oh, no. I think it's just playing the... Yeah, I think it's just playing. So Ghost is the hit. What type of views has he got? Does it show you? Let's see. The first one has 129,000. Second one, 55, 63, 42, 140. Not bad. And I wonder when it comes out on the rest of the platforms. I'm, I'm sure any day now. But like, I just, he's just on some, he's just cool. Yeah, good for him. He really beat the odds. Because normally you get a good old fashioned rich kid. Yeah. And you just suck. Yeah. You I know? Mean, I mean, I'm Nine just... Nine times out of ten. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with just uh, what he's been able to do from everything from fashion to music. Like, even his brand is cool. Yeah. I met him once because we tried to do something with him, and he's so damn nice, too. He's not rude. Yeah. He's just like... I don't know. He's, yeah, he's just... Got figured out. He's just the super kid. Super kid. Yeah. That's what you get with those two. Yeah. I wonder what Willow will end up being. President? I think Willow will be one of those super kids too. Yeah. We'll see. Check okay. out the album. Check out Ghost. Ghost is fire. That's the one. Is that on streaming platforms? That's on streaming. That's yeah. right. I have it. I have it on my run uh, playlist if nice. you're interested. Is that, where's that at? Spotify. What do we do? What do you search? Search my name. Okay. Uh, next up, Movie yeah. Pass. Yeah. Has a new competitor? Yeah. So we know people. Is Danny a Movie Pass member? Um, Tyler. Tyler. Blake. Like, okay, so Movie Pass, for those that don't know, is nine ninety five a month, and you get to see a movie a day, I believe. It's unlimited movies in a month, but I think the most you can see in one day is one. And obviously, there are some restrictions, and there's some peak peak timing. They have yeah. like surge pricing. Yeah. Like if you want to see 7.30 Saturday night, or the movie's already sold out. Um, I don't think you can pre-advance reserve your seats, yeah. but I think it's more of like, if it's available, you can go check out the movies yep. so it became super popular last year um it used to be higher price they dropped to 9.95 and it went berserk they have three million subscribers how does it make any money so the company is falling apart Great. and they're probably gonna go bankrupt Great. that's so, what i want to hear okay so they're, they're losing that i was reading it this morning they're losing roughly 20 plus million dollars a month hmm. mellow because every time you go see a movie they pay for the movie ticket 
So they're banking on you not seeing movies, but now yeah. everyone's actually going to the movies. Yeah, the Tyler goes every night, I think. Okay, so that's the problem. Yeah. There's obviously a play to uh, either work out better cost on like off pricing off times i think there's a pl- there's also a play where they're financing movies and driving people to movies that they help finance yeah so um there to me there's a big play there problem is is they're not funded well enough to go and fight this battle yeah um so amc last week launched a competitor that's 1995 a month uh three movies a week you can uh pre uh, book your seat prime time, whatever. Um, not as many restrictions. Not as many restrictions. And you're considered an A-plus member. Uh-huh. So there's other perks, you know, like a oh, dollar off popcorn, whatever. Uh-huh. There's perks. But what I what I thought was most interesting, usually when something like this happens, it takes a long time for people to react. Yeah. And even I thought it took longer than it should have. But MoviePass seemed to, got to get people back into movie theaters. Yeah. Because it was so reasonably priced. Yeah. And so AMC has now realized that and has created an, an, uh, a new business for themselves where 20 bucks a month, I mean, yeah. I think a lot of people are going to sign up for it. Yeah. I mean, if you go see a movie in LA, it's what, I don't know, I haven't been to one in a while, but $15? Yeah, it's expensive, yeah. $16? Yeah. And it includes IMAX and 3D and all that on the AMC yeah, and then you platform. Get your $17 popcorn. Yeah. yeah. If you go there, you're going to spend money yeah. on the food and beverage. So, I mean, for AMC, it makes, it's a no-brainer. And is that just, is it a different brand name or is it AMC? It's AMC's brand. Correct. So, it's only in their theaters. But for AMC, it's a no-brainer. It's like, why, why aren't we doing this? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, for MoviePass, they're just a service provider to yeah. a, another entity. So it's yeah. a really challenging business. But I think MoviePass, who knows if they'll survive or not, will has now changed the movie industry forever. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think it's pretty exciting. And I think, I, I, I'm thinking like, why haven't more people done that? Like, why aren't other industries just being like, like my friend launched an app called Hooch, which is for nine ninety five a month. You get one drink a day in any bar that in their selected bars. The first drink is free, that hoping that seems, you'll go to second yeah, drink. That seems like such an alcoholic app. Yeah, so well, they drink pretty free well. drink a day. <laughs> yeah. I got all my friends signed up. Yeah, I found a way to get seven <laughs> drinks. Man, but you know, yeah, but it's working. It's working, and he's scaling, and he's growing, and it's. Yeah. But it's like, why not? Like, if you're TGI Fridays launch TGI Friday's Club. Yeah. It's $20 a month and you get your first drink and appetizers free. No one's going there and having one drink and an appetizer. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think the club subscription model can be used way more than it is. Yeah. You know? And I and I heard an interview, I, complete off topic, but I heard an interview with the founder of Lyft that that's what they're working on. Yeah, I always wondered why they haven't. I know Uber tested a concept, yeah. but I never, like, I'd rather just pay $100 a month and yeah. be done. Yeah, that's what they're working on, apparently. I just think you could do that to every, you could do that to every industry. Yeah. Starbucks should have one. Absolutely. That's great. Maybe we should go brainstorm and figure out some <laughs> subscriptions. Um, Unlimited podcasts. Yeah, um, yeah. well, it's free anyway. Um, okay, next up is uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah. Has a new series on Showtime. Yeah. That looks Unbelievable. amazing. Unbelievable. Those that don't know who Sasha Baron Cohen is. Uh, he's Borat Bruno. Bro, Borat Bruno. Ali G was his first. Yep. Really, really famous Classic. HBO show, and probably if you're young, you never saw it. Yep. But it is. You should go watch old episodes. It's yep. probably one of the funniest shows ever. Yep. So in his promo, he has uh, Donald Trump <laughs> talking shit about him, yeah. which, saying he's what, the worst human on earth. Was that from a Borat skit or something? What was he commenting on? I don't, I don't on? know. I just saw the preview this morning, and I was like, we have to talk about it. Yeah. And then the other clip from the actual show. Yeah. Uh, I think the name of the show is Who Is America. I yep. think that's what's called. That's at least what the promo is. The promo is and it's Dick Cheney that he's getting interviewed and he's signing a waterboard and Dick Cheney goes that's the first time I ever signed one of those so he's sitting in a chair and he's like can you sign my waterboard kit and he signs it what an idiot (laughs) it's insane so I mean his bar this is the thing I think uh, Sasha's bar is set so high yeah and like I feel like he continues to hit it yeah you know what's funny is that a lot of people didn't uh, like um Borat. Yeah. And I thought it was unbelievable. Oh, no, they didn't like the dictator one. 
What was the dictator oh, yeah. one? Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. What was that called? Anyone remember? I think it was called oh, The Dictator. Okay. There, there you go. <laughs> that show, that movie was incredible to me and people, yeah. it was underappreciated. I get that though. I guess that was probably the worst out of the three. Yeah. You know? Because it was too acty. The thing that makes him so great is like he's really doing this stuff. Yeah. And like the situation. How does he get into any room? He's one of the most famous actors that does this. Like, All that I know is that they do something along the lines of making up obviously a different personality, any sort of disguise they can, and then they say that they're filming a documentary. And Dick Cheney says yes. Is that easy to get to Dick? We should have him on group chat. We should have him on group chat. Dick Cheney, what are you doing? Dick Obviously Cheney. nothing. You're signing waterboards, Come on, you idiot. Come Dick. Let's fucking talk about waterboarding. <laughs> Damn it. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I guess he's just accepting random We requests. need to ask these like crazy old people to be on. Maybe it comes from like a, you know whoever did the movie or, or maybe like Showtime said we're doing a documentary. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But well, we could just say we're Showtime. But I know that there's trickery. I know that when it's the same thing that the Jackass guys used to do when they would do public stunts like that is they would you'd ha you have to lie your way around it, it and say why you're there and then you know whatever. Um, so anyway, it looks incredible. It looks like he's meeting the expectations. Obviously, we're big fans yeah. of some good old fashioned so, Trump humor. It's a TV show, so it should be July fifteenth. It said that's soon. Yeah, next that's week. This week. Oh, this week. Yeah, it's Friday. amazing. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Next up. Let's talk Jesus. Yeah. I haven't talked to Jesus in a couple of weeks. Yeah. So he had uh, a new shoe release. Yeah. The black dad shoe. I guess it's Yeezy 500s, um, which I actually really Shout out to Raymond wearing them in the yeah. studio right now, live. Uh, Ray, Ray Beast over there. Yeah. Um, that shoe, I really like. I do too. It's all black. Yeah. It seems like an easy shoe to wear. Yeah. Um, I think it also came in all white. It looks great. And it's still available for purchase on his website, which I'm shocked. How is that possible? The other shoe, so the white shoe that came out the week before, I was with somebody and they were trying to get them and it sold out in four seconds at 6 a.m. Do you think they made too many or do you think the Trump thing kicked in? But it didn't kick in last week. Last well, week that it dropped. maybe it was a hot color way. <laughs> I think it has to do, yeah. <laughs> maybe you come up a little short and people are like, all right, now I, now I don't like it. Do, maybe it's just I'm trying to think is it the color is it make maybe America throw it over here for the YouTube yeah is it the backlash I think this is one of the better ones when yeah. it comes to dad shoe cause dad shoe is still hard on me dad shoe is hot right now though I know but for me to personally wear like that's what you're looking down at boo 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 Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. You guys <laughs> want to go play soccer? Um, but I think the all black makes it so easy to wear. I like the all white, too. I saw someone wearing it. So what's the reason? Here's a couple of reasons. A, the Trump thing kicked in. B, uh, Yeezy's cool factor wore off in the last week. And C, Trump. Or the shoe's just not what we think it is. Maybe the fact that we like it says that it's not hot. Possible. And we're just not cool. If a real dad likes it, it's not, <laughs> yeah, it's not a good dad shoe. It. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's interesting. Uh, did you hear the news that supposedly uh, March 14th, the record where, that, where Drake talks about his baby, March 14th is supposedly the date where he flew to Wyoming okay. to record. That's the day he played with Ninja. Okay. And then flew to Wyoming to work with... Uh, Kanye and the rumor is I don't know whether Drake said this or, or what exactly but that he played the record for Kanye Kanye relayed the information to Pusha T that's where Pusha T was able to out him so cleanly before he was able to put out the and record and who's, who's sharing this information does anyone know where that information came from I believe it came from maybe their OVO radio takeover last week got it but it's all over Instagram it's all over like DJ Academics all so over whatever so he played the song about his kid yep and he just said it earlier. Yeah, he played Kanye the song. Yeah. And then what happened was uh, Pusha put out his album where he dissed Drake subtly. Mm -hmm. Drake fired back and Pusha said, well, check this out. I'm going to expose you as a deadbeat dad because I know you haven't put this record out yet. So he didn't, he was going to expose himself yeah. anyways. It was just timing. Yeah, that's the big news is that yeah. Kanye is a rat. So what maybe about that's why your stupid shoes aren't selling. You rat, <laughs> rat shoes. <laughs> is it a called desert rat? <laughs> it really is. <laughs> the first one was called. See? Um, I also like a sidebar, um, the, which you were telling me about, 
uh, in the God's plan. Uh, only like my bed and my mom. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. but that's a meme. You don't think that's real? I don't think it's real because now there's like a hundred of them. Now it's like, now it's like every word they go through every song that he's ever said. And, and like, did you know that secretly his middle I don't know, name? But this one, so the kid's middle name is nobody knows that. I don't oh, think anyone knows that's that. That's made up. Yeah. Oh, it's fake news. Yep. I got fake news. You got fake news. Wow. And I helped spread it. Yes, you helped spread it. Yeah. I was like, I was telling everyone, yeah. and then you screwed me. You told people? Yeah, I was like, oh, did you know this? Yeah, I screwed you. Oh. I'm like that shitty Facebook And what's friend. funny, it was I heard it on the radio. They were even talking about it. This yeah. is how fake news spreads. Yeah, yeah, no. It, it's like, it's literally like, did you hear that Drake's son's middle name is chilling with no makeup on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and like, so when he said, man, he's good. <laughs> Did you see the God's Plant video on Instagram? No. If you have, go to Drake's uh, Instagram page. He did a, a video of somebody in the crowd while he was performing at whatever festival was in the UK or whatever. Wireless, was, yeah. yeah. And there's he wrote God's Plant, and it's just a guy like up in a flimsy tree, yeah. like dancing, and the tree is just going nuts. Like it's crazy. The whole video, you're like, this kid's gonna die, <laughs> and he doesn't apparently. So speaking of Drake, and unfortunately getting ratted out by. The snitch, Kanye. <laughs> uh, uh, his this dancing video went viral. Yeah. Um, so the song is in my feelings. Yeah. Some guys. Do they? Even, who is that guy? Uh, it's called Shiggy. Yeah, but Shiggy's the guy who did it. First. He's just a mean guy, and I think Odell did it. Yeah, Odell, that's when yeah. I noticed it. Yep. Is when Odell did the dance, and it's just a dance for the song in my feelings that drake you've probably seen it all over instagram this weekend yeah i mean odell's video has six million views did you go watch shiggy's the shiggy show yeah it's really good odell's version is just better you think yeah i think shiggy's is better really yeah i'm on team shig i don't know odell's just like just more but but odell in my opinion look see there's some stumbling shiggy doesn't miss a beat I mean, he, Odell just went and did it. He wasn't no. even practicing. Yeah, I know. That's not approved. <laughs> you got to do a practice round. <laughs> but no, it's no, no, like no. the most good. famous people are doing it. Yeah, yeah. He did good. I just think that uh, the Shigster did it better. And there was a girl this morning that I saw that did it while like her car was moving. moving. That was unbelievable. Yeah, she might take the crown. It's incredible to me that like, like you couldn't pay for that, right? Like this guy just loved this song. Yep. He does it. And I remember I watched a video. My friend was at the Wireless Festival and he posted when that song came on. Mm -hmm. And it was nuts. What's funny is on Saturday, I didn't know about the video. I don't mm -hmm. know when this video came out. Yeah, last week. Sometime. Maybe say a Friday, Thursday, whatever. Yeah. But everyone kept sing at the run club. I kept hearing, Kiki, do you love... I was like, why the hell is everyone singing this song? Yeah. Like every every 15 minutes, I'm hearing someone yeah. singing it. And then by Monday morning, I see it all over Instagram. Yeah. It's so crazy how like... You know what I love? Not to I be would, too like, what? like hippie about Instagram, but like as much as there is negative about Instagram, when something like this happens, it feels really cool. Like it feels like a community. Yeah. It feels like people joining in on something good yeah. and doing it. And look at my version. Look at ah, now yeah. kids are doing it. And like I don't know. I just think there was like a, I saw a clip of a morning news I show. I knew that's when I know it's over. They well, killed it. It's over today. It's white over. White people get to it. Yeah. It's dead. <laughs> the older guy with the thing doing yeah. the heart. I was yeah. like, stop. <laughs> yep. But yeah, so that was good. I, I like. I thought it was cool that like. It's really cool. I, I I always wonder if like like things like that can be planned. I don't think so. I, I think you can take shots. I hope that. And and you know if you're really really good. Like I've never heard of Shiggy before this. Like I don't think that Drake called Shiggy and yeah. said like, Yo, can you? How about your car and do a little But thing. he'll have Shiggy at his next show and it'll be the biggest thing. Yeah, you're right. And Drake did a guest appearance at Wireless. Yeah. Came out. Who's the, set? So Khaled apparently yep. didn't show up. but And that, that's a whole nother issue. But Drake ended up doing a 20-minute set. That's great. And I saw a photo of him in Little Pump, which is good. Little Pump? Yeah. Oh, nice. I like the young and the old. You know, let's embrace. Let's <laughs> yeah. stop fighting. You know what I mean? <laughs> let's just all do some Kiki D. Lemmy dances. <laughs> Yeah. Right? We yeah. good? Yeah. We did it. Guys, thank you. Guess what? Uh, for all you listeners that listen to us in podcast form, we'll be back on Wednesday. Woo! And again on Friday. So it's really important that, A, you go follow us on uh, the podcast, which is available on iTunes, Spotify, everywhere where podcasts are. Are it's we on Spotify? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. We should be. That's hot. Okay. Uh, and then also make sure that you... Give us, like, interact. Send us DMs. Um, 
send us comments on our Instagrams. That's where we spend the most time. Yeah, and thanks for everyone who posted. Uh, I got a ton yeah. of people that posted, yep. said they were listening, Tons. which is amazing. So you guys will get your gift card. And thanks to my friend Lindsay for reminding me that Scar Joe is the biggest star in Hollywood and all the movies she's done. It's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually, it's car, we really missed the ball on Scarlett I mean, Johansson. I couldn't believe, I was so jammed, I couldn't think of a movie, but she's been in, she's a superstar. Yeah, let me see here if I still have the list of movies she did. She went off on it. Uh, Black Widow and Avengers, Lucy, Ghost in a Shell, Woody Allen films, ton. I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't have thought of any of those. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I want you to do. Uh, keep engaging, hit us up, and also let us know about what you think about the uh, more, or you know, comment on our last photo, say more or less. More episodes, less episodes. We're going to keep pushing until you guys tell us to shut up. Thank you, and we'll see you on Wednesday. <laughs> Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Do you never have a leaf on the side? Because I want you. <laughs>